Cancer, what's up? Let's just start with uh, what energy is Cancer in right now? Let's see. What energy are my beautiful Cancers in at this time? What energy are they embodying at this time? All placements, Cancer. So some of you are just trying to enjoy being at home. We have the Four of Wands here. So much to celebrate. Gratitude to the divine. I feel like this is you feeling comfortable in and in a, in a safe space almost. And we have Hermit energy here. You could be connecting with the Virgo or you could just be connecting to Virgo energy. As in, you know, keeping it cozy. Um, maybe decorating your space or whatever place you find to be like a home to you where you don't have to put on for anyone or anything, I feel like that's where you are right now. And you feel good. Um, I like it. Yeah, maybe you're working on something. Some of you could be like formulating something. I don't know why that word formulating came to mind, but you could be uh, reading, chilling. I'm hearing music. You could be listening to like jazz or classical or just whatever your favorite music is it's really chill vibes i'm i'm really liking it <laughs> that's what's up so let's see oh happy birthday cancer what is it cancer season already it's almost cancer season i think we're still in gemini what day oh, oh no 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 it's cancer season Happy birthday, baby, happy birthday. So let's see what the tarot has for cancer right now. No wonder you're feeling good. It's your birthday season. Ooh, yeah. Starting out, we have the king of wands. Feeling in your power, feeling good. Feeling great. I like that. Maybe something has inspired you recently to lit that fire within you, something that's um, got your attention. You could also, your attention could be required with something, so you're honing in on it. I'm feeling a little bit of focus with this King of Wands as well. We have the Three of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Some of you could be feeling a little... Hmm... You could be holding back your energy from someone, maybe who you feel doesn't deserve it. We have the Three of Swords here with the Three of Cups, maybe a player-player energy, or some of you have decided not to be a player in a situation, um, but you're keeping your energy from someone. Yeah. Let's see. There you are, Cancer. Mm, somebody else could have been trying to like, I don't want to say like crowd your space, but well, hey, maybe they were. <laughs> I feel like maybe somebody was trying to, I'm getting the energy of somebody trying to creep in on your territory. And you're focused on expanding your territory is what I feel like. You're focused on growth right now. Chariot energy, it's your energy. Growth, expansion, willpower. Uh, determination, you know, discipline, something you've been working on. It's like somebody was trying to get in on it with you or something, um, and maybe you didn't feel like they were the right person, or this wasn't the right love interest, or you felt like, mm, I don't know if you're the right fit for me. So you may have distanced yourself, and you're holding yourself back from this energy. And we have temperance here as the advice. Yeah, balance there. Five of Swords, who had this? I, th I think Gemini had this? Or was it, no, Taurus had this. Some of you may be Taurus Vedic. Six of Cups, so, hmm. And then beneath that we have the Eight of Swords, Six of Swords, all right. So with the Six of Cups overall, this could be soulmate energy, you could be dealing with, you could be focused on your children right now, there could be a matter, um, Dealing with your children, I'm getting the energy of a parent who is showing concern to a child. Maybe you're wanting to step in and just check in on your child and make sure they're all right. 
Um, maybe because of something, yeah, I'm feeling like a rectification energy, something that might have happened in the past. So somebody could be trying to assert themselves in a way or state a claim about something. Um, and this, I feel like it's a side story for somebody. I feel like you are just like, hold on, wait a minute, let's talk about this. That could be for somebody specific, like you just want to smooth things over. It's like, yeah, you want to smooth something over with someone or vice versa. They might want to smooth something over with you if there was some sort of a misunderstanding. Your only focus, it seems like you're very focused on the truth and being like direct in the situation, having an open conversation and getting down to the bottom of it, like getting down to the details, the nitty gritty. <laughs> um, very cool. Yeah, I don't feel anything bad here. I feel like maybe this is a situation you were like, no, I'm serious, let's talk about this, let's work it out. This could be something you're doing in a home setting. If you are working um, from home, maybe maybe you're taking a couple days just to be at home if there was some sort of a situation like that. For some of you, it could be a little bit more severe where you really felt like there was a family member or a close friend that needed your attention. So you're like, listen, let's get away or let's, you know, Let's just figure this out together. I'm getting like the image of a fort. Like a, like a little safe place, yeah. Where you guys can sit and work things out. Maybe that's something between you and your child or you and a good friend where you have this like fort energy. Um, even a sibling I'm hearing where it's like where you can go and kind of have almost a little fake court and discuss a situation if there's been some sort of a dispute. That's interesting. Cool, and I, I hope that you work it out. I'm not feeling any really uh, animosity or anything like that. With the advice here being the temperance, it's like just keep a cool head about the situation. Don't do anything rash. And I feel like you're already in that energy because your biggest concern is the truth. And I think that'll be helpful to you for whatever this is. But overall, it's a good energy of you just kind of taking care of home, taking care of number one, uh, matters that are important to you and those close to you and I feel like the outcome is you guys are going to work this out quietly with the five of swords being there but we will clarify yeah because this is something that could potentially be stressful but I feel like you're also moving away from it like perhaps this is something that needed to be discussed for a long time yeah getting a child energy here so and if the five of cups was beneath that but I feel like you will work this out. Let's see, what is this King of Wands here for Cancer? Yeah, the world and the justice. Mm -hmm. And then the card flipped over here. So it's like, it's really it. Like somebody was trying to close. They were delivering justice in some situation. Like that's the energy is getting somebody standing up for themselves. This could be you as well, Cancer. You're putting the, the, your foot down in a situation. And there's somebody else that could be coming in like, hey, wait a minute, let's just, um, let's work it out. But I feel like it's the, in truth, they really do want to work it out. And what is this here on the bottom of the deck? Oh, that's the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> work it out. Yeah. But I meant to actually turn over this card. What the hell is going on with the Page of Cups? Yeah, this could be with a water sign and a fellow water sign, maybe a water sign child. Here we go. King of Cups, there you are, Cancer. Ten of Cups, yeah, family. And then Ace of Wands. Like trying to formulate ideas and work out how this can work with a win-win situation for the both of you. The cards are like screaming. Yeah, you want to come to an agreement. You want to come to an understanding with the Page of Cups and the Two of Cups there. So that's beautiful energy. All right, so let's see. The chariot is here blocking, and I feel like that's you, Cancer, because you, um, you're blocking this assertion, whatever this assertion was. Like, maybe there was some kind of a misunderstanding, and someone's like, I'm moving out, and then you're like, hold on, let's just talk about, maybe there's a way we can resolve this. So, let's see, can we get any more on this chariot card? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, equal give and take communication there. So what is the Six of Pentacles about? A 
new beginning. Yeah, they want a new start with you, or this could be what's underneath that. Feels like I just heard animosity, so some kind of animosity, but really beneath that, there is love. There is a desire to connect again. And you, I feel like, are showing that as well. Maybe you feel, I'm hearing you were always on my mind, that song. Um, maybe I didn't call you as often as I should have, and things of that nature. Um, so it could be a situation where either you are feeling that way or someone is feeling that way toward you and you're coming to an understanding. You were always on my mind. So yeah, this is somebody where you do care, where they care very much about you. So what is this Ace of Swords? Ooh. Queen of Cups. Feminine energy here, but it fell sideways. Um... So the truth, get down to the bottom of a situation about maybe something you didn't know about this Queen of Cups energy, or it could be a feminine energy you're dealing with, male or woman, you know, that just his, is not feeling, I, I heard forthright, they're not feeling forthright. Four of Wands, or Four of Swords and the Emperor. So maybe this has to do with their health um, and being in charge of their own health being in charge of their own decision making. Um, maybe they wanted to go on a break. Maybe they wanted to just take some time away. And that could be what you guys are discussing as well. Could be an argument, but I feel like it'll resolve well if you keep it. You want to keep this personal, like between you. Is there anything else on this Ace of Swords and Queen of Cups? Because I feel like there's a match here. Yeah, seven of wands, eight of wands. They feel this is necessary in order to defend themselves. And there's a queen of pentacles involved as well. Could be a mother figure, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, yeah, so this could be, I'm hearing, yeah. <laughs> I think this family business by Kanye West. Family business, you could be handling family business. There's a lot of love here, a lot of history, and just working things out amongst one another. That's what it feels like. Your advice is to, yeah, keep a cool head with the temperance here. I feel like your family is loved and protected in the spiritual realm. And this is just kind of one of those situations. Maybe there's some kind of a misunderstanding where, um, you know, between siblings or between um, one parent in a relationship or another. For some of you, it could be there was a disagreement between the parents and one of the children might have taken sympathy with one parent over another. And now there's a... Um, a resolution that'll come to, to play because the other parent is going to voice their true true feelings I'm hearing opinions and feelings where that may have not happened and, and this could have been born a long time ago um, this like rift but what you need is communication I'm feeling that energy like uh, communication is key so for this temperance card Yeah, you'll come to an understanding. Two of Cups, there's love there. But this is a shakeup for sure. It's like a, a shocking conversation, but it's it's something that you can resolve. And um, there's Earth Energy again, Virgo and also Gemini as well. But with the Magician being there beneath the Power, Scorpio energy. I feel like this is something that needed to take place, especially in a family uh, dynamic. If this is a conversation that should have been had a long time ago, maybe, or it was kind of, I'm hearing tiptoe through the tulips. So this is something that um, maybe was danced around. Like there was a gen, there was like a, I don't want to see this situation. We haven't seen the Two of Swords, but it was just a situation where people were kind of not addressing it directly. And then now it's kind of grown into this kind of family blow up. But you guys are doing your best to work through it together and keep it at home. So let's see. Anything more on this? Uh... Yeah, because you don't want to do something rash. I'm feeling since this is in the advice position, you don't want to do something rash and then really step, sever a beautiful connection because at the bottom of the energy, we do have, or it was clarified first by the Two of Cups. Like you can work this out with patience. You can work this out with cool heads, cooler heads prevail because if you don't, there could be a bigger rift or a tower or someone may do something they regret or say something, more importantly, they regret. 
Yeah, and we have the Page of Cups there again. So what about this Five of Swords as the outcome? This is the most likely outcome here in this spread. Uh, we have the Devil and the Five of Pentacles. Why do I feel like there's some kind of a, an actual agreement involved with this? Also, I'm getting a really rash energy of maybe someone, if there is a blow up, somebody being like, well, I never want to talk to you again. Because remember, this is picking up the energy right now. And energies will change, you know, it's constant ebb and flow. I don't want to say it's like a permanent loss or anything like that, but somebody might blow up and say, I'm done with you forever, or I don't ever want to see you again, like something like that, or I hate you, something that they don't mean to say. So they can win the argument. And it'll make somebody feel very left out in the cold. So you could be somebody who's very cutting with your words, even though you are a king of cups or queen of cups, you could be very cutting. Um, if your temper is aggravated, we saw with that tower card, so just keep it cool, okay? Because you don't want them to hold on to something else that isn't necessarily true. But let's just get another card. Yeah, this could have something to do with a fire sign as well, Queen of Wands. It could be anger as well with the Queen of Wands showing up with the Devil and the Five of Swords. Temper is flaring. Can I get one more on this Five of Swords and the Devil, please? Yeah. Like a change in the relationship where you guys, I'm hearing you could go for a period of time without speaking to one another. So just handle the situation carefully. Yeah. Five of Pentacles and then the Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. This could also have to do with someone, um, wow, okay. We saw the Queen of Pentacles earlier and then we saw the Queen of Wands. These could be different feminine energies within the family, but I'm also getting the um, feeling that this could be outside energies that are influencing family matters. And it's a better idea not to involve anyone. I I'm feeling like it's better if you only you keep it within the family. Even if someone else is a, you know, quote unquote family, that might make sense to you. Please just keep it within the immediate family there's some kind of dynamic here with two queens. We saw the queen of cups as well, but I'm feeling the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles. Yeah, my ears are ringing too. Like someone feels the attention, uh, something about attention, where your focus should be. So th this, this conversation is very important whenever you have it. Th the best advice I would say is just lead with your heart and lead with the truth there, okay? And just try to keep things calm. So let's get from the Rebel deck here and see what it has to say for Cancer. What does the Rebel deck have for Cancer? Yeah, get the fuck out of your head. Get into your heart, it misses you. Yeah, you need to speak from the heart and um, try to see the perspective of everyone involved. And I'm, I'm, I'm also really feeling that energy again of focus on, especially if it's involving children, focus on how you feel about your child, not so much how you feel or comparing, I'm hearing comparing to someone else. Um, it may not be helpful. Okay, so let's see. Anything else from the Rebel deck for Cancer? Especially if this has anything to do with money, wills, inheritance. Um, there could be some anger for someone I'm feeling about money that's going to someone who they feel should not be like, receiving anything. I'm seeing here, time to let go, move the fuck on. Eat your vegetables, eat some shit made by mother nature, but then step away from the diet. So there's some kind of conflicting energy there. Eat your vegetables, but then, you know, 
kale and spirulina take like taste like ass. <laughs> this could be like people who are on the very opposite ends of the spectrum are saying two different things. Oh, okay. I'm also getting a stepmom energy. So the, the there could be like a biological mom and a stepmom. And they what they're saying, they're like on the opposite ends of an argument or something, and you are kind of stuck in the middle there. Um, so I'm hearing tread lightly with that. <laughs> yeah. Anything else from the Rebel deck? Tread lightly. Listen. Listen. And when you do speak, Cancer, make sure you're speaking from the heart, okay? And, and, and taking everything into account keeping a cool head, really trying to do things in a way that works best for everyone because I feel you do care about everyone in this situation. All right? And then this at the bottom will just say, whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the time. And at the top, you're giving too many fucks, give zero. All right? I feel like there is someone who's in um, somebody's like energy is telling this person this is an a and b conversation see your way out <laughs> okay so that's what i have for you cancer i hope this has been helpful in some way i do wish you the best in this situation with this energy overall i feel like keep a cool head stay in those mellow vibes that we got in the beginning if you can you know play some calm music get into your best headspace and then just kind of you know speak from the heart in this situation but um until next time i'll affirm for you and me all as well and i'll see you very soon bye